So farmers nowadays have found a way of improvising or using the resources that they have in their farms, and I'm talking about livestock farmers, to produce gas that is used to cook, and they are slowly replacing the gas that is that we buy in the market and using their own gas that they produce in their own in their own farms. We did it or we learned about biogas in school as something so theoretical. But I'm here to show you how biogas works practically. So this is called a feeding tank. This is where we are supposed to put all the dung and then it's supposed to be mixed in here. Ah, yeah. So the next thing is get water using the same buckets, get this water. This water and mix it with mix it with the dung that has been put in the in that basin when the dung is put here it removes water and then that water that water is drained here so we are getting water with the bucket here to go mix with the dung mm. My mouth is not a good one. I'm going to take a photo. I'm going to take It is no joke, my friends. So we have our we have our feeding tank. We have our feeding tank ready. These are three buckets of water. So we are supposed we are supposed to put the water here. We're supposed to mix the dung. Remember we put dung here. So we mix the dung with the water and then we put it through this pipe to move into the receptor reactor. Yeah, that's what we are doing now. Mm. Mix, mix completely. Remove all those objects, stones, leaves, whatever, anything that may be contaminating the dung, you remove it. So, add the last bucket of water. So, next, Niapa. 
変わる。Yeah. So next is this pipe. So there is a pipe here that is connected to the basin. It's called the inlet outlet、uh, reactor pipe. So he will open the he will open the inlet for this dung mixed with water to get into the reactor. So. No go. See, it drains slowly. It drains slowly into the reactor. So remember, we only put two buckets of dung. It's supposed to be four. So we only put two. Now we are putting the other two. This is the other two. Where to? Where? 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 So now, see, we have two. We have two more buckets of dung, so we need to add four more buckets of water. So that's what we are going for right now, and I'm done doing that. We've been doing all that work and not recording. Imagine. So, what happens? Let me repeat what I had said. So, what happens? You see the dung we put there, mixed with water. So, so, so the water is sieved. The water is sieved, and then it is drained here, and then the dung remains here for it to produce the gas. Yeah, that is what happens. So the same water that is drained here is the same water that we are using to put back into the bucket to mix with the dung. Makes sense now. Makes sense. Oh! Who is the man to cook ramen? Eh? Who is the man to cook ramen? Who is the man? Who is the man to? Hmm. Who is the man to? Your space near back. Can you come and get it? <laughs> A full bucket of this. This I think is twenty kgs. Where? It's work. It's work. Nikate. What is happening right now? We've we've carried four buckets of water from there. To here, this is the last bucket. We are repeating the same process, like the first process, the same way that we did with the first process. The two buckets of dung. So these are two more buckets of dung. So、um, we mix them, we remove all the objects, any objects, stones, leaves, any objects that may be in the dung, <coughs> and then、uh, we'll open this cup here, and then the dung will pass into the reactor. And then I'll show you the next process after that. After we are done with this first, so、uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe. We are growing, and if you like, if this video was useful, share it with your friends and family,、uh, so that it will help them too. Yeah. So now we are opening the outlet for the dung and water to get in. <laughs> You can see the water passing down there. Water, look at what I'm wearing. I take you my water, never, never.
So this is called a reactor. This is so this is where the gas is baking. <laughs> so this is where the gas is baking. The reason we have to these two sacks here, these two sacks here is for they are supposed to put pressure here for the gas to be pushed into to be pushed this way into this pipe which is supposed to be releasing gas if you look at it you'll see some air bubbles that is gas and it's mixed with water and i'll show you how to remove the water how the water is removed from here so that's why we have these two these two sacks here to prevent the loss of gas to prevent loss of gas and to push the gas this way yani for the gas not to be wasted in the air in a pushiwa ndio yende huko my hands are full of dung so what happens now is that the gas as it bakes in this reactor here it comes out through this you see this pipe through this pipe this way to this bucket this blue bucket here this is supposed to control pressure in the biodigester and then after that the gas comes this way to this this one here so this way you open and close open or close you can control the supply of the gas from here so you can open or close if you close there will be no gas if you open that's when gas is released to go all the way using this pipe there so this also this thing this part here to here is supposed to reduce the smell and sulfur contents of the biogas and then it increases the lifespan of all metallic biogas appliances this pipe this pipe pipe goes this way into the kitchen so this is the kitchen i'm going to show you in the kitchen how the pipes have been connected and how the gas reaches the kitchen So now this So this is the banner. So this is where so the gas comes this way. So the pipe is coming from outside this way, this way, this way, this way and then so this way you open. Hey, see me shika. Open here. Okay. 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 That's the banner. So here is the gas. It's almost colorless. But it's burning. So that's the gas and that's what we used to cook. That is what is used to cook. And this is what we used to cook. Initially we still use it sometimes. But that's it. This is the fire. That's the fire. And then when you're done, you close this. Okay. Yeah, you close that. When you want to use it again, you open. So, do you notice do you notice this thing is not as full as it was in the morning? and that's because it's been used a bit today so it's reduced so like the gas inside has reduced that's why it looks like this right now but it still has gas inside it's still usable